Welcome back guys, welcome back to more vampire. Uh, before we get into this, true confessions time. I haven't touched the game since the last time I recorded. So again, this is brand new, brand new experience for me. Just playing the game and I'm honestly looking forward to it. I, <laughs> I think this is going to be a really good game. So... It's okay, Jonathan. I'll see you later. Alrighty. So I'm gonna. Come on, you bastard. You can do better than that. Nah. It's not turn. Why? Oh. Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't buy. So, but I please. will. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... A, I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. That's a little weird <clears throat> animation there. You can embrace him or you can release him. Embracing him will provide a massive XP boost, but there will be consequences. And so now I have a choice to either kill him or leave him be. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. <laughs> nah. I do think losing his sister was... more than enough for one night. No. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. It's locked. Thanks. <laughs> I noticed that very quickly that it was locked. Right now they are gone from here. And we can actually go to the hospital. Doctor, where have you been? <coughs> I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. If you don't mind, of course. 
And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The Administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is Sun. <coughs> I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon if, uh, and the most compassionate me clearing physician. my throat annoys you please forgive me I am fighting a cold and dust and all that so thank you nurse Crane. <clears throat> it's gonna happen a couple of times just me clearing my throat just making sure I don't sound like either a broken record or a coarse frog I believe good Who evening is this sir I'm dr. Jonathan Reed I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Mm. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Let's just... How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. <laughs> and it's getting worse every day. <laughs> All right, I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, Milton. Nice. I, I like Milton already. S s straight off to, you know, to the man. <laughs> Doesn't run around making jokes and Dr. stuff like Swansea that. Is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. The, the one thing that's really... I depend on you. <laughs> now, the, the thing that I really love about this game is that... You really don't need to talk much. Uh, it's so... It's, it's so story driven. You know, which is... Really, really awesome. I, I like it. Oh. Wrong room. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Which, when you think about it, is like vampirism 101 when it comes to what we um, think or believe about vampires. You know, it's... You sleep in a coffin. Mm. Ask Nurse Crane to secure an office on the second floor. Uh, we'll read through Dr. Swansea's letter a little later. A little later. Wow, that's going to be a tongue turner. And I s only see now that I can rest to evolve. But what I want to do first is... What am I doing? <laughs> I want to go to the locker. Because... Let's see. Article on Econs. Supernatural speed. Mesmerism. I do hope I'm pronouncing that word right. That's a pain in the rear. Um, the flower's dying. 
It needs water. Huh. In my room, I can walk. No need to run here. And let's see... Blood barrier... I have 920 XP. I really, really want to upgrade my claws. You know? That would be awesome! Uh, but I also... I'm looking at the coagulation. Which is a defensive skill. 600 XP. Oh, I see the bite is also there. Yeah, let's do that. Because, I mean, I do use the bite often in, uh, in combat, so... There's a whole lot of wisdom in, you know, upgrading my bite to something a bit more... Substantial. That's what I'm looking for. Let's analyze the blood sample here. Okay, here we can also upgrade our weapons. Interesting. Alrighty. Learning much, learning much. Or... Oh, you can actually like... It's not just the level from, from damage to common, but it's also enhancing the damage. And uh... Alrighty. That's awesome. Upgrade the used stake. You can upgrade upgrade the used revolver, I assume, then, as well, if you have the ingredients. Which I don't. I don't have the common part that I need. A light regeneration serum. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. <laughs> so much time because you are doing everything at night. Now, I do have to rest until the next night, but what I do want to check is just if I can water that poor plant. That would have been nice, you know. Because I can... The flower's dying. It needs water. I can look at it, but I can't actually do something about it. So, I'm not going to evolve again. I'm just going to confirm so that I can sleep until the next night. So I kind of ran ahead of the program again. I'm to stay here until my research is As complete. I always do. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? See, I think one of the things that's that's going to be um interesting and and uh, important in this game is going to be finding a way to handle the thirst without actually killing yes, nurse humans. Yes, How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Oh. 
Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. He says it like he knows I'm gonna forget where it is. I don't like that about him. <laughs> he knows me even even better than I know myself. Well, bef while we're running towards our next objective, one thing that I have to do a little confession about is when I started planning out uh, playing this game, I did go about and I asked the... Uh, internet community that I do have on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook about how you guys or they thought I should go about playing this game and honestly 98% of everyone who voted on those polls that I put out voted that I play a renegade playthrough of the game. However, due to influenza, the hospital can no longer take any patients. That sounds horrible. Um, however, the thing is, honestly, I'm a nice guy. I, I do not honestly know how I can do a renegade playthrough. I mean, like with Crane now, just... I don't see, b beside of course the XP boost, I don't see any reason for killing the guy. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge XP boost, it's but... It's locked, alright. Uh, other than that boost, what would be the purpose of killing him? So, I think, honestly, that, that, that that's going to become the, the thing for me and the difficulty for me is going to be finding a way to live with and handle the thirst that he has, you know, getting blood without actually killing anyone. And I think it's going to be tough. I mean, there are enemies that you have to fight and you have to kill. I mean, that's that's normal. But this is like quarantine. Keep out of this area by order of the Board of Health. Quarantine due to contagious disease. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Yeah, and this is where it goes sideways for me because... <sighs> oh. I just died. That's the first time that I died in this game. Yes! <laughs> we have to go through that as well.
Alright guys, so fair play. This is take two on defeating these scowls. They did defeat me the first time. I'm not proud of it. What the why are there so many of these? Get you some of that. I got a dodge of my own. But I don't have a ton of stamina yet. I think that's something that I'm going to have to look at. Ooh. There was another one back here. And as usual, I miss the opportunity kills because I suck at stealth. <laughs> and that's more of their blood. Did I actually manage to clear them all out? Oh, <coughs> that's better. There's another photograph of a smiling and loving couple with a few words, Milton and Pippa. A new citizen investigation. Milton Hooks. Now, before we enter the old morgue, I'm gonna run back to Milton. I'm just gonna... Because this is gonna be like... This is gonna bother me until I find out. Milton Hooks, and then you got the... It's gonna be a citizen quest. So I want to go to Milton. This is something that I haven't seen. I've like, I think I've watched 10 playthroughs of of this game and this is something that I haven't seen anyone else do. I've I haven't seen anyone do a little bit of the side quests. So let's go and see what Milton has to say about this wallet that we found and I am running all the way around the outside of the hospital. Milton, hi! Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Mm. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I no. retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Your relationship What's with going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Bound by despair? During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You, could you do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. The man does have a point. And I will have to investigate Goodbye, Milton. further into... Huh. 
How interesting. Okay, still running through the entire freaking outside of the hospital. Alright, I think... I just think this is a, as good place as any just to maybe stop this video before I like before I go into the old morgue and start really investigating down there just collecting grease and screws and weird stuff so yeah I am going to end this video hold on let's get inside first <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of this video and we will continue on with the game in the next one. Thank you so much for any and all the support that you guys drop on this video and on this series. I'm really enjoying this game and just learning so much and playing this awesome game. So, uh, drop a like. On this video, if you like what I'm doing, not only with this with this video, but also with the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with your friends, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay classy, guys.